Right now, we're seeing the candidates crisscrossing the battleground states. And on election night, you're going to keep hearing the names of these seven states over and over again. Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. You can see them on the map here. Whoever wins those states will likely win the presidency. Three of those states are considered as a part of the blue wall. That's Pennsylvania, Michigan and Wisconsin. They've historically backed Democrats, but back in 2016, former President Trump flipped all three states. Polling in all seven of these key swing states show the race is virtually at a dead heat. New Hampshire is traditionally a purple state, but it's voted blue in every presidential election since 2004. New Hampshire is sort of at the top of the second tier of swing states is how I've been describing it a lot this year. We're not Pennsylvania. We're not Arizona. Right now, a recent poll of likely voters by St. Anselm College shows Vice President Kamala Harris may have an edge on former President Trump in New Hampshire. She's ahead 51 percent to his 46 percent, a lead that is larger than the poll's margin of error. Ariel Metropolis, WMUR News 9.